the back again. So the first Bugatti Devo ever made. All sporty guys, back again. It's gonna be good. Supercar Fest 2022, let's go, let's go, let's go! Get you one more time I really wanna cross the line I do it all before I die I wanna get it on tonight I wanna get you one more time I really wanna cross the line I wanna get you one more time One more time One more time One more time I want it one more time I really need to make it right Energy I overdose Cause I'm ready to relax Hi there guys, welcome back to another video. So today we are heading down to Supercar Fest at Slywell Aerodrome. I went to this event last year and I really enjoyed it there. There's going to be cars racing down the runway. It's going to be much bigger than last year with even more special cars. I'm not going to say what cars will be here but you've probably seen a few in my intro. But I'm running a bit late so I need to get down to Supercar Fest and I'll see you when I get there. So I have now made it to Supercar Fest now. There's a lot of people so I'm not going to talk to you for too long. When I turn it around I'll probably be more confident in talking but um, yeah I'm just going to head in now and um, I can hear lots of nice cars going down the runway so um, I'll film some cars when I get in. all over the place. Just as we enter we see the first point um, insurance hypercar zone. We got a Ford GT, a new one. We got Ferrari SF90. We got a Ferrari 599 GTO. And for the first time I think this is actually an event of thought ultimate. I've never seen one before, so that is very nice. And over there, actually, I don't think you can see it, but there is actually a twin turbo Lamborghini Huracan. That's going to sound nice if I catch it go down one way. But here is a 360 Challenge Stradale. We got. I forgot what they're called, I'll have to put it over in the video, but... 458 Speciale. And now we get on to the big guns. We have a Ferrari Enzo. And in fact, I think there's actually two or three Enzos here. So that is cool to see. We now have here the um, Ferrari Daytona. We actually have a Lamborghini twin turbo webbing over there, so we've got an Aventador SV over here. We actually have a Lamborghini Aventador here with a Huber body kit. And look at that colour, just amazing, that purple. But yeah, this has got a Huber body kit on, as you can really see from the spoiler here. I don't know what these are called, but there's some race cars, it's very cool to see. But yeah, this is actually the Petrol Hedonism Car Club zone right now. We've got a Lamborghini Huracan here. We now have here a twin turbo Lamborghini Huracan. And look at that flip colour. I'm not sure if this is a wrap or not, but I've seen this car on loads of videos before. It looks very nice. There's a lot of hopeful people here, including me, hoping that we get some web. We have another Aventador SV. 
There's only like 500 of these cars and yet this is like, I can't even count how many of these I've seen so far yet. 650 SEM McLaren with that carbon fibre hood or bonnet as I call it in the country. Uh, we got BMW M3, another M3, a new generation M3. You can really see the difference. The main difference being the bigger grille. Very nice colour. BMW M5 there. Oh, there's more cars as we come around here. There is um, a Ferrari 360 there. Um, got a Mercedes AMG GTR and a very big Bentley Bentayga. Um, we have all oh, GT2 RS. These things are actually quite rare. Second one I've seen in a matter of four weeks actually. Because there's a car show that I didn't film at four weeks ago. And there was a red one. And, I'm, and I can't be sure whether it's a GT3 RS or GT2 RS, but um, I saw a, what I thought was a GT2 RS on the way here, but I can't be sure if it was GT3 RS or, or not. But um, as we go on, we got a McLaren 720S. Calm down a bit now, not as many people going in front of me. Aldi R8 with a chrome wrap on it. I don't tend to watch the Animais on YouTube anymore, but um, it's actually um, owned by Mark who works for the Animais and obviously hence why he probably got it wrapped because that's what he does for his job. Um, Lamborghini Huracan Performante here. We got a Nissan Micra, but it's named Boris. It's um, very funny really. Uh, basically on Instagram um, became very popular because basically does the, did the most stupid thing to a car and look at it now it just looks a bit stupid in my opinion. Uh, we have a Huawei La Huawei. I haven't seen one of these in a while but um, there's actually a McLaren P1 here as well and a Porsche 918 and like the La Huawei Porsche 918 and McLaren P1 all like the first like um, hypercars that are hybrid and um, this is one of them and there's actually a McLaren P1 and a Porsche 918 here today so we will also um, see, so we will see the whole as Top Gear named it the Holy Trinity with a nice Lamborghini Aventador next to it so here we go we are probably getting to the most exciting part of my video already because um, we are getting near to the um, first point in shore in hypercar zone and already there is a Bugatti Chiron right there a Bugatti Chiron and what looks like a 250 short wheelbase well I'll show you that part in a minute but I've just seen a Bugatti Diva, the first time I've seen one, but there's a lot of people around here because obviously it's the best part of the show, but I'll try and film the best I can. Here, we have Bugatti Chiron, Full, fully carbon, fully carbon fibre body. I don't know if it's picking up on the video, but yeah it's very nice a special edition as well to celebrate Bugatti's 110 years anniversary back in 2019 and this is now the second one I've seen of that special edition um, yeah it's very cool and in fact the last time I saw one was at this very event <laughs> but that was the other one that I've seen but um, yeah, right next to it is actually Ferrari F40 LM right there, one of 19, only 19 of them ever made of the F40 LM. And in fact, 
I think this car must be very new because it, you can almost smell how new it is from here. Which is quite weird, but there you go. Here is the F40 LM that I was all about. And next to it is another very rare Ferrari, a Ferrari F50. That is really cool. V12 engine. Yeah. That's just really awesome. And an F12 TDF next to it, another rare Ferrari. One of 499, I think. Next to that is a car that I've seen at this event last year. Lamborghini Aventador SBJ 63 edition. Because 1963 was when Lamborghini was founded, so that's why they came up with the 63 edition. And next to it, a Ferrari SF90. Spider. Next to that, we have a Ford GT 2005 one. Obviously, I showed you the newer one earlier, but this is 2005 one. A Pagani Guayrai. I haven't seen this one yet. In fact, it's a Pagani Guayrai Roadster. Look at that. That's quite an outrageous specification. Blue wheels, blue stripes and a uh, white and red interior. That was very nice, carbon fibre down there. And um, like I said, I'm trying my best to get the content for you, but next to it we got another Aventador SPJ. This is not the 63 edition, it's just a standard one, but if you can even call it standard, because look at that. Got a McLaren Senna. A John, Play John Player Special as well livery. Um, and obviously Ayrton Senna, which is what the car is named after, which is who the car is named after, the F famous F1 driver who sadly died when crashing in F1. I call him the best driver ever to live, really. But, um, the John Player Special livery is actually. Um, when um, Ayrton Senna raced the Lotus F1 team, which is not a F1 team anymore, um, this was delivery the car was in. So I like the way they've done this McLaren Senna and made it and put the John Player special livery on it. But um, I'm just going to go around to the other side now because we've got some even more insane cars. Now we have a Bugatti Veyron. I've been wanting to see this car for some time now, it's a very long Vitesse. But the times I've, I could have, like, I've um, missed out on seeing this a few times, so that's why I've been wanting to see it, and now it's here. And I like the number plate, it's well, 16 EB. EB is um, the initials of the founder of Bugatti, Ettore Bugatti. So that's why I like the number plate. and. We have a fully carbon McLaren Senna here, another one, second McLaren Senna so far, and next to it, a P1, which is the car that was made before the McLaren Senna, the, um, they're both in the McLaren Ultimate Series, here we go, McLaren P1 here, the car number two of the Holy Trinity that we've seen so far today and the Porsche Carrera GT right next to it po po quite possibly the best sounding cars ever the Carrera GT there it is, Ferrari Enzo very nice and next to it is actually the first ever McLaren Alva I've ever seen well I say the first ever it's the first customer car I've seen because when I was at the Goodwood Festival of Speed last year, they they had McLaren's show car there. Next to it is the car that Ferrari made to compete with it. To compete with it, well, the Ferrari was made first, so maybe the McLaren was made to compete with it, but Ferrari Monza. And um, this is actually... Um, 
part of a car collection with and in fact um, these cars all in a line so this Ferrari Monza all the way down to that here on 300 plus are all owned by the same owner just crazy I can't believe they can all be owned by the same owner and in fact that SBJ 63 edition I showed you was also um, owned by them so six of his cars are down here today and in fact in the past he has now changed this Bugatti show onto a different one but when he had his blue one I actually got to go for a ride in it and it was probably the most insane ride of my life that was. Here we have Bugatti V1 Super Sport Bug 1 and when I went in the owner's share on behind it was this car and then behind that was this other Bugatti V1 so yeah that was quite a cool convoy of cars I was a part of. And here is the car of the show I think, the two cars of the show. So we have the Bugatti Devo. This is the first time I've seen a Bugatti Devo so this is quite insane and this is actually chassis number one so the first Bugatti Devo ever made and this is it right here and next to it the owner's very lucky because like imagine being able to like just picture it like imagine having to choose between a Bugatti Devo or Sheer oh on Super Sport driving and <laughs> moving on to the Sheer on Super Sport this is actually chassis number one as well um, and it's um, the world record edition so um, it's basically in the same livery that um, it would have been in when it broke the record and um, yeah it's very cool I'm glad I was able to get round to showing you So guys, the last time I spoke to you, I was looking at the hypercars and now some of the supercars are coming back in from their one. So I'm just going to capture them, come through now. Hopefully I'll get some webs. Ventador is looking very nice. Audi R8, Lamborghini. 
Lamborghini Gallardo. We got Whips and Webs, Shelby Daytona. We got an Aerial Atom. We got a Jaguar, I think, C type. Uh, Aston Martin V12 Vantage. We got the Jaguar Project 8. That just scared the life out of me. JZ uh, Day, GTR. No racing, no racing. And over there, if you can see it, that is the electric Herbie. Volkswagen yes, Beetle. Bad Herbie. Herbie on steroids. Yeah, more cars coming through. So. 160, then we're going to faster. Over Camper for Monte with some web. Now, Here we have Porsche GT3 RS. Having a good time, aren't you? How good are you doing? Good. Number plate YTW397. Richard Morgan. You can find him at electricalclassiccars.co. UK and uh, it's a Tesla engine. 600 LT net, so is that a 5% here? Vintage voltage TV show on Quest TV. Fantastic superhero uh, of is electric classic cars. 570 yeah, SMC. Have you got a Lamborghini Hurricane? And you look good too. Hurricane Spider as well. Right, Steve? Good, you having a good time? Steve's having a good time. There they go, one behind the other, into the corner at the top of the approach. Yeah, this is way better. So we're watching some cars leave now because some of them are leaving already. There goes the first car and there's another one coming already. Oh dear, that Alfa Romeo is a flat tyre. sounds from the Aston Martin. We have a Cobra kit car leaving. It's probably going to be good.
WRT coming out, it's going to sound really good. How cool, electric Land Rover Defender with an electric BMW, BMW, what am I on about? With an electric Beetle on the back. How cool is that? just made it back from supercar fest now it's been an awesome day it's been awesome to see all the supercars and hypercars race down the runway some of them getting up to almost 200 miles per hour it was awesome to see the bugatti devo and as well it's the first bugatti devo ever made and also the first ever one that i've seen i'm going to the goodwood festival of speed soon in about two weeks time in fact um and hopefully with the a bugatti devo there i will do a video when i go to goodwood festival speed i will make sure um yeah don't forget to like and subscribe um make sure to check out all my other youtube videos as well and i'll catch you up next time <music>